Okay, what you see here is one, two, three, four, five, six dragsters. Actually, all of these dragsters are different because as the students design them, they followed my tutorials. But ultimately, where I need the rest of these dragsters to be right now is in this condition right here. This is the pre um, state that we would go to where we got it sanded down as we need it. This is a state where we would then now come back and put the wood hardener on it or some kind of a sand sealer. Now regarding the sand sealer and the wood hardener, this is a really light car so I'll probably come back with maybe some wood hardener on it because it's, a, it's intended to be a 35 gram car. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and set this one here off to the side. Now this one we got to cut off the front here. We may have to come back and do a little cleanup work on the front nose there. The same with this one here. This one, this one as well, and this one here is probably in pretty good shape, and so is this one. So we'll take the ones that need the most work and set them aside. Okay, I went ahead and put my name on these because I want to use these as demonstration cars. And again, we're trying to get to this quality. I went and got some 180 grit sandpaper. It's actually been already used a little bit. The 180 should be really fine, uh, fine enough for us to actually work with. What I'm going to do on this 180 grit sandpaper is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the adhesive side and kind of stick it together and then I'll tear it, um, if I can tear it, right down the middle so I've got two pieces. So now what I want to do is I want to sand this uh, connecting rod off to be the same contour as the side of the car. So I'll go ahead and sand this down. This, you know, keep in mind that balsa wood is a very, very soft wood. So you have to be careful not to over sand it. And what I'll do is I'll follow my hand along here. Now, sometimes as you look at these things, you know, you think you see what's going on. It's best to always use your finger to kind of feel down the profile to see if you're actually on the profile that you need. And don't always trust your eyes when you're doing this. So we'll get this guy sanded down and we'll follow that contour. And as you can see, it quickly sands down to the contour that we need. Yes, that looks really good right there. Okay, so I'll flip this over and I'll do the same thing on this side. I'll come back and I'll start sanding it as well. It's where I'm following the contour. Got a bump right there, sand it down. If you over sand, you can, you can repair the car, you can come back in and uh, get it to where it needs to be. And see that side sanded down really quickly. Now if you notice there's a blemish, I don't know if you can see on the camera, there's a little blemish right here. I can kind of sand it down and then maybe when I come back and prime it, I can, I can come back in and fill that in a little bit. See there's a dent right there as well, so we're going to have to kind of work on that. Now on the back of this car, there's a little bit of an offset issue, this is before I actually got the offset. Uh, corrected. So I'm going to go ahead and sand that down here and we'll get that uh, corrected real quick. All right. Yeah. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to stop here and go ahead and correct, finish this guy and correct these others. Now this car actually was damaged when it was milled, this is my first test car. But I'll use this as a demonstration car and I'll fix these uh, gaps right here as you see. So in the next video when we come back, all of these should be sanded and we'll go ahead and I'll show you how to sand seal it.